This harm reduction conference uh, is very timely for us to analyze what's going on in the region because uh, Vilnius is hosting this conference uh, this year. And Ukraine used to be uh, an illustration for to present a uh, terrible situation with HIV, growing rate of HIV infections, problems with uh, injecting drug users, no services for a number of years. Today we are here calling a press conference because the situation is principally different. Today Ukraine sets an example for the region because it has the largest harm reduction program in the region, covering uh, over 170,000 IDUs with services. Key services, condom, syringes, needles distribution, STI and HIV testing, counseling, information material, uh, to some extent substitution therapy, referral to RT treatment. So all this uh, uh, program, uh, wide, uh, large scale program, led uh, to the fact that uh, starting from uh, 1999, for, for the first time, we observed decrease in newly registered HIV infections. Uh, this tendency uh, was initially observed among injecting drug users for a number of years, and uh, in 2012, uh, number of new infections among drug users dropped by 9% in comparison with uh, 2011. And this tendency impacted uh, epidemic uh, among general population. As I said, first time since, since 1999 we observed decrease in newly HIV infections by 2%. Situation is opposite in the uh, Russian Federation and uh, we pre uh, presented in the briefing the uh, two epidemics. One is going down, another is going up. Uh, not because harm reduction doesn't wo uh, work in Russia, rather opposite in those cities where uh, there are harm, harm reduction programs, uh, they proved its effectiveness. But the problem is that not sufficient scale of the harm reduction programs caused the uh, growth of the epidemic. So that's why uh, Ukrainian example uh, will be quite uh, beneficial to apply in other countries of the region and share. We, of course, have own uh, problems. First of all, it's uh, lack of national funding of harm reduction services. Unfortunately, it is zero allocating for focus prevention. Uh, we still have some uh, uh, loopholes in legislation which uh, undermines effective harm reduction. Nevertheless, as for today, we came here to the conference to share success, to share how the biggest, the largest harm reduction program in the region can impact and impacting actually the epidemic.